Hi, this is Tremonair with uh, UGXmods.com, and this is a tutorial on specular mapping. Uh, it was requested. Um, so, to start off, specular maps are two different files, really, that are merged into one. There's the specular color map, which is this photo right here, and it's the color of the reflections. And then also the one that most people don't realize exists is the cosine power map, which is the reflection amount. So there are two different files that are merged together by uh, Asset Manager into a file readable by Call of Duty. And then of course this is the standard color map. So to make a specular map, let me just let me go ahead and uh, open one up here. Um, no, no, probably already have one done. Let's see, or one converted. Uh, this will work. Okay, so open your file. So here's the AK-47 um, texture from Call of Duty 4, uh, slightly modified. So, what you want to do is first of all I'll go ahead and say how to make normal maps too because um, it's damn easy you go first you make sure you have the NVIDIA DDS plugin which you most likely already have since you're doing textures but if you don't google it install it you go to filter NVIDIA tools normal map filter and you just click OK you don't have to change any settings and you're done save that as a TGA set it as your normal map you're finished to do specular maps First of all, you're going to want a file that um, is the the um, the color shininess, the specular map. Um, the way I usually do it is I go to exposure and I bring the ex well not that far. I bring the exposure way up like that, higher than I would ever normally shit normally bring it. Um, to make it extra shiny. Um, you probably don't want that happening on the wood, so let's go ahead and um, make a new layer and link it to that one. Shit, wait, don't do it that way. Um, All right, let's do it this way. Duplicate uh, exposure way up gamma down a little bit. I mean up a little bit. There we go. Okay, and we don't want the wood shiny, so let's go ahead and erase my changes from there. being able to adjust the sensitivity of my mouse. <laughs> it's great for photoshopping and sniping.
Ooh, the bullets are nice and shiny. And the clip. Okay. Any more wood? This one. miss any no okay so once you've got your specular map um, go ahead and flatten it if you made any layers um, and then let's see can you save it as a TGA or does it need to be a DDS I don't remember um, Cosine is it okay? TGA is fine. So let's save as TGA and let's name it AK 47 spec. And uh, as a general practice, you should always save your textures in source data um, just for organization's sake. Okay. And then to make the specular cosine map, which you remember is the um, the file that tells how shiny an area is. Again, the personal preference, the way I do it, is first of all you need to convert it to grayscale, black and white. And let's see. Okay, I'll leave it as that. And then again, let's raise the ex well, let's see, do we have to raise the exposure? Maybe a little bit. Okay. And it's simple as that. Save as um cosine. Done. And then, of course, we can go back to the original and save it as a color. Okay. <coughs> TGA. Save. Now, the asset manager aspect of the whole process. You want to go into whoops shit materials material uh, new entry name it whatever you want uh. Uh. to the material okay so let's go ahead and choose our color map and normal map did I save that I don't think I did let me make that really quick oh flatten Okay. Normal map. 
specular map, you choose the color version, and cosine power, you choose the cosine. And yeah, okay. And just um, FYI, the detail normal map, if you're wondering what that is, um, I don't specifically know how to use it, but I did figure out that it's it's what uh, IW and Treyarch use to do the camos on the guns for multiplayer and uh, also single player. Uh, but it just it just manages different repeatable textures that they use as camo. Uh, repeatable patterns. Okay, so once you're done, save AK-47 spec, convert. Now if this was a custom texture for a custom model, um, you'd be done and you'd, you'd add it just like you would normally add a, a, a texture, but since this is going to overwrite the original AK-47 textures, it's going to be a bit more involved. Uh, um, so navigate to your raw folder and your mod folder and images, images. Okay, so let's put these in alphabetical. Do to do. Okay, there it is, weapon AK 47C. I'm going to rename that. Copy the name. Wait, shit. I don't think the guns have bump maps. Maybe they do, and I'm just stupid. I don't know. I'll go ahead and copy it in just in case they do. I'm going to make an assumption that the name of the bump maps is um, underscore n, because that's, that's usually the naming convention, but not always. And then the spec map I'm going to have to find in Call of Duty 4, because I don't know the name. It's a pretty random-ass name. Obviously auto-generated. Okay, uh, images. I don't want to look through this. Um, weapon AK forty seven. Oh shit! <laughs> is it this one or is it this one? I don't fucking know. Uh, let's see. We can figure that out though. Uh, Call of Duty 4, raw materials, but AK-47. Oh, god damn it, why is it? Why doesn't it mention the spec maps? Okay, well, fuck it. Um, lazy mode kicking in, I'll just make two copies and one of them is bound to be right. Alright, so that's done. Let's copy those into here. Okay. And launcher hmm. was already checked, okay. Uh, let's see materials. Let's see, that's all I need is images. Wait for that to build.
it says to use 24-bit TGA. I use 32-bit. Oh well. I don't think that'll make a difference. There's way too much shit in this. <laughs> way too much shit. Alright. Um, half of which probably doesn't need to be there. <sighs> Alright, if my memory serves me right, um, Call of Duty doesn't show in the recorder that I have here, so... I'll go ahead and record with fraps at the same time and we'll see how well that goes. Probably won't go well. But fuck it. Uh. Okay, uh, my, my voice didn't record while I was doing this so I'm going to narrate it after the fact. Takes a while to load here. So I need to give myself a weapon. I couldn't remember what the hell I put what the hell weapon file I put the AK in, so I eventually just typed give all. And then in the next three seconds I yelled Taste my lightning, fuckers! And then I, I was done with that. And I found the AK forty seven. And then I realized, shit, I overwrote my original awesome texture, but it's okay, because I probably have it saved somewhere. And as you can see, the, t the texture turned out quite nice. Uh, it was a lot better than the original Call of Duty 4.1, uh, especially spec map-wise. It's nice and shiny on the metal, it's not shiny at all on the wood, which is exactly how I wanted it. And I think overall it looks great. Metal my the metal could be a little bit shinier, but I'm actually pretty happy with with, with how it is, because in real life it's it's not shiny. 